Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about the key value pair connector. So let's get started. Go ahead, create a new RPA project. Let's call it key value pair. Open the main activity. On the left hand side under toolbox expand connectors. Here you can find the key value pair connector. Drag and drop this connector to global objects. Double click on the connector and the methods will be exposed on the left hand side under object explorer. Let's go ahead and have a look at these methods. So here we have a method called parse from text. In case we have a text file that looks like this. It has name and then the value of name age then the value of age email then the email address we can parse this kind of data so here i have three key value pairs so let's go ahead copy the path of this file and read file drag read text component provided the file path so if we run this component we can see the data as it was in the file is extracted here let's go ahead connect this to parse from text component here in this component we have three properties so the first one is item separator so here in our file the items are separated by a line but in case you have a comma separated file or a tab separated file you can select one of these options here the next option here is a colon so the key and the value is separated by a colon in my file we can provide anything else in case there's something else that separates the key and value in your data and then the last one is clear before parse before adding the data that is coming from this string if we want to remove all data that is available under this key value pair we can make this as true because there's no data in this key value pair by default so let's leave this as false so let's go ahead run from here and all of this data from the text file has been added to the key value pair to check it we can execute this to text component and run from here we can see that all the data has been added as key and value pairs we can add more data to our key value pair using this add component. So drag and drop this add component to the design surface. Provide a key here. So let's say I want to add the organization name. So org and the value. Make it static for now. And click OK. Executing this component will add this data to our key value pair. So let's go ahead and run from here. Now if we run this component and preview data we can see the organization has been added let's have a look at what other methods are available here so clear component can be used to clear all the data available in this key value pair contains key returns a true or a false value based on this key being found in this key value pair or not contains value does the same thing for value as contains key so it will go ahead and find this value if it is found in this key value pair it will return true else it will return false Count gives us the total number of items available in our key value pair. So we have four items. We can see here there's an int output and it returns us four. Next here is delete. We can provide a key and that key value will be deleted from our key value pair here. Get item helps us get a single item value based on the key provided here. Get items helps us get multiple items. To configure this, double click on this component and a new window will open up key names. Here we can provide as many keys as we want and the values for these keys will be extracted and provided in this output ports here. Next component here is get items by index. This can be used to get multiple items based on the index value. Here we can provide multiple indexes and based on the index the values will be extracted and exposed in the output ports here. Next component here is parse from text which we already saw. Next is reverse. This helps us reverse the order of the values in the key value pair. So if we run this component and then check the values in our key value pair. So we had name, age, email and organization previously. Now it becomes organization, email, age and name. So it just reverses the order of the key value pair. Next component here is set item. This component is used to update the value of particular key. Next component here is set items. This is used to update the values of multiple keys. Next is set items by index. Using this we can update the values based on the index. And the last one we have already seen is two text 
this helps us view all the data available in our key value pair in the text format that's pretty much it about key value pairs and managing keys and values across the application thank you intellibot excellence made simple